laughed at me when I uh, when I wrote the manuscript. I wrote to you, can you explain how the technology works and explain <laughs> it as if I were a six-year-old? Who wants to do that? Yeah, sure. So um, what you should think of, it, it, it's a cycle. So um, we, are, we are not really transporting a, a, a like energy is not a, not, not a physical something, it's, it's, it's quite abstract. And what we do is the thermal energy that is, uh, that is present in, in exhaust gases or inject cooling water, uh, the cooling water of an engine. Uh, we, we extract that uh, by means of the water loop, which means that we constantly circulate hot water through a heat exchanger that's installed in, a, in, a, in, in the funnel of a, of a, of a ship, in, in, in my case. And the thermal energy is then contained in this water and we transport it to our module. So we are not really circulating exhaust gases through the module, it's only water. Yeah. And this water is, is then uh, let through a uh, evaporator where we um, first bring this, uh, bring a refrigerant that's contained in, in our module. We bring this to just below its boiling point with the jacket cooling water that, that's of around 85 degrees. And then the, uh, the big push comes in from the exhaust gases or, or any other heat source. And that evaporates this, this working fluid, which, which is a refrigerant. Um, and the refrigerant is not toxic to, no, to it's, the- No, it's non-flammable, yeah. non-toxic, non-ozone depleting. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's really good working fluid for, for instance, on, on chips or, or, for, or also for land base for that matter. And, and this, once it's vaporized it, um, it's, and it's highly pressurized, it, it can drive some, some rotary movement. So what we do is we lead it through an expansion machine where, where the, this gas gets expanded and, um, and this thermal energy that was contained in this refrigerant is now being, uh, being converted to, to work. And that work then drives rotary screws in an expansion yeah. machine, um, and, and, and that's what it's all about. So now we have thermal energy converted to, to rotary movement. Yeah. So and that's where really uh, a usable form of energy is is, is, is being created. That's and where this, the magic and this, happens. And that rotary movement is then uh, by means of a generator converted yeah. to electricity. I'm a finance guy, and therefore I'm probably the equivalent of a six-year-old compared to a technician, uh, to an engineer. <laughs> So how it was explained the first time to me when I you know started talking to the founders of the company is that it's it's a it's a steam engine, same principle, but we are not using water which boils at 100 degrees centigrade, but we use a refrigerant which boils at 18 degrees centigrade, yeah. Yeah. and that makes kind of sense to me that okay 100 degree, 20 degree, it's a lower yeah. temperature, it must be somehow better. You can tap into lower heat sources. So that, that made a lot of sense for me, and that's, yeah. I'm, I'm running around with this belief yeah. since then. Yeah, <laughs> like a six-year-old, exactly. that sounds great. Uh, so uh, if I have a, a ship, or I work at a steel plant, or a, a genset somewhere, what is needed for me to use uh, your technology? Um, well, for instance, on a ship, uh, what, we, what you would need is, is like some, some engine floor space, but not that much. How it's much? a pretty compact module, like uh, approximately 1.5 square meters. Yeah. yeah so that's, uh, I would say that's available in, in more or less any any engine room. Maybe, probably not in a submarine, but uh, but, but in, in, in the, in, in, well, in, in most of the world fleet of ships, it, it will be available. Mm. And, um, and you would require, a, 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 let's say, a, a low temperature input, which is jacket cooling water, uh, 85 degrees and, and the somewhat higher input exhaust gases or, or waste steam uh, a lot of vessels have that available could also be a thermal oil circuit because for, for decades uh, shipping companies have been extracting heat out of their exhaust gases uh, and, and put it to use like cabin heating or pool heating or, or whatever uh, it was just never being converted into electricity before mm. and, and yeah, we can just easily tap into that, and so yeah, that's what you need two two levels of uh, temperature, uh, low and somewhat higher temperature waste heat, yeah. and, and some engine floor space yeah. and some pipes. But those are mostly available in ships. Yeah. Uh, 
where do you build your stuff? Do you build when you do a the the ship that you did there? Mm -hmm. Do you do you go down there or do you put it together in Munich and send it as a unit or how do you do it? Um, well, the the product is is, is pretty standard. So uh, it's it's we have this modular approach. So we're not going to a yard and they're customizing our, our product and building it on site. So um, so we have we have series production. So these uh, units we, we are talking about for these uh, for these eco ferries that were built in the Netherlands, um, and we have another production site in Germany. Yeah, are all the the the, the standard uh, units that are in the the turbine that you're using, all the, the components that you're using, all, where are they manufactured? Are they manufactured in Europe or are they manufactured somewhere else? Most of our supply is actually out right now in Europe, yeah. exactly, because yeah. we are looking for like high quality standard components. It's very important for new technology yeah. to make sure that you know nothing goes wrong. And therefore, we were looking for, for the top and tier one suppliers. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, that makes it than an expensive product, but then on the other side, if you have a standard component which has been built a hundred thousands or million times, yeah. you just go down with the prices again, yeah. so you, you balance it quite good. Yeah. And therefore, right now, our components are mainly delivered by European manufacturers. Yeah.